Hi. This is a response to a video by Ben Shapiro, titled, Ben Shapiro, Breaks Down Net Neutrality. I stumbled upon this greatly flawed anti-net neutrality video recently, and as a certified network engineer and web developer with experience in the realm of net neutrality, I could not resist providing a rebuttal. To quickly summarize the video, Ben Shapiro establishes himself as opposition against the concept of net neutrality, and he provides a series of arguments comprised of misused terminology and an overall lack of understanding about the Internet and how it works. I felt obligated to respond to Ben's arguments seeing as how the Internet is on the verge of destruction due to this exact type of misinformation. I apologize in advance for using this shitty digital voice generator, so please bear with me. Let's get started. Uh, Scott says, what is your stance on net neutrality given how the internet has become such an important part of how we learn? Uh, so I don't believe in net neutrality. I think I had explained this a few days ago on the show, didn't I? Uh, I did a whole segment on net neutrality, I thought, um, where I discussed at length the idea that ISPs, uh, basically net neutrality is the suggestion. It was only put into place in the last couple of years of the Obama administration. And before that, the internet was working just fine. False. Net neutrality was introduced in 1996 under the Telecommunications Act. What took place during the Obama administration was the reclassification of net neutrality from Title I classification to Title II classification. The reason why it was reclassified is due to the ongoing problem of Internet service providing monopolies blackmailing and throttling smaller companies, and damaging the public's access to an otherwise public utility. Verizon, Bell, Rogers, or Comcast cannot ban Internet access to Hulu or Netflix for the same reason your electricity company cannot ban electricity to Samsung TVs. This ensures that the utility provider is providing access to the utility itself, rather than selling the many things the utility can be used for. Net neutrality is basically the suggestion that Internet service providers have to supply traffic, uh, supply all use of traffic the same price. So Netflix, which eats up an enormous amount of bandwidth, has to be charged the same as some schmo in his basement who is just loading up his blog. And it's also, net neutrality also says that all pages have to be loaded at the same speed. In no way does net neutrality demand that all websites load at the same speed. The speed at which a page loads is dependent upon the speed of the internet connection you're paying for, minus the amount of data which the page is comprised of. If you are paying for an internet connection speed of 5 megabits per second, and you load a web page that is comprised of 10 megabits of data, then the page should load in a theoretical time span of 2 seconds. Net neutrality demands that access to all websites on the internet shall be permitted by internet service providers at the very internet speed you're paying for. A 10 megabyte Facebook page should load at half the speed of your 5 megabyte Twitter page regardless of your internet connection speed. Uh, the, the reality is that if you're taking up a huge share of, of the bandwidth, then you might, there, there might be companies that say, you know, we'll, we will provide you a faster access, but you have to pay more money. This makes absolutely no fucking sense. Netflix is a centralized streaming network. They manage their own uplink bandwidth while their subscribers access their service using their internet connections provided by an internet service provider. The idea of net neutrality is to disallow internet service providers from dictating how you use the public utility we call the internet. The way to think of it is that internet service providers are like the pipes, and the, and the contents of the internet is like water. So you can think of it in two ways. It's a public utility, everybody should be able to turn on the tap at the same time and get the water, or that the pipe company should be able to charge you what they want, or, or charge the, the, the water company what it wants for the water moving through the pipes. Oh, for fuck's sake. The fact that the cost of your water bill is determined by the amount of water you use is the exact fucking purpose of net neutrality on the internet. So what would a world without water neutrality look like? Want to take a shower and wash your face? Well, you'll need to subscribe to our shit shower and shave package for $39.99 per month. Oh, you have a pool? Well, it'll cost you an extra $59.99 per month for our aquatic leisure and H2O entertainment package. Well, the problem with that, of course, is that it benefits big corporations like Netflix over the little guy. The exact fucking opposite is true. Giving Verizon, Rogers, Bell, or Comcast the ability to block access to any internet source they choose could not be any worse for the little guy. Let's say you're a small online news outlet. Since you are a small news outlet, you're not included in Verizon and Comcast's new bullshit news and blog packages, and the only way you can be added to these packages is by paying $10 million to Verizon. What's that? 
Don't have the money? Then fuck you. Need to buy something online? Subscribe to our online shopping package for $19.99 per month. Oh and by the way, Walmart won't pay us $20 billion so you cannot buy anything from there. If larger corporations like Facebook can pay $40 billion to Verizon to shut down other social media sites, who benefits from this other than the largest of corporations? It's not incumbent on internet service providers to be forced to be treated like public utilities. No, Ben. ISPs provide access to a public utility. The point of net neutrality is to prevent ISPs from dictating how you use this utility. Want to watch some videos online? Subscribe to our video package which includes all of your favorite video streaming sites. Except for Netflix because they won't pay us anything. Like for people, for example, who only use email but don't watch streaming video, right? Like older people who only want to watch TV but don't actually want to use Netflix or, or Hulu. They should be able to get the internet cheaper than people who want to be able to get Netflix and Hulu. This already exists, Ben. If you only use Facebook and email, sign up for a 5 megabits per second speed instead of a 50 megabits per second speed. What net neutrality will do is prevent your internet service provider from blocking Gmail and offering Yahoo Mail instead. Right, or if you only want to get Netflix and Hulu and you don't use email, right, you just use text messages, you should be able to have these options. We already have these fucking options, Ben. Ben Shapiro being an internet personality with a podcast and a large online following should be the most adamant about saving net neutrality, since independent political news outlets are the most dependent on net neutrality to exist. I hope Shapiro will be honest enough to say I was wrong when ISPs with left-wing biases decide to start shutting down right-wing news outlets. I hope Ben Shapiro realizes his errors when his followers lose access to his content using the only internet service provider available to them. Bottom line is the internet was fine before anybody started messing with it. Uh, net neutrality, uh, the, the, the odd passion over net neutrality has always puzzled me. A net neutral internet has existed for 21 years, and it will indeed be fine until people like A Shit Pie start messing with it. Thank you for watching. I rarely use this YouTube channel, but if people wish for me to debunk more tech or science related propaganda, I'll be happy to upload more rebuttals on this channel.